Hi, I'm James. And I'm Laurent. And today we're in Racine, Wisconsin. Racine is on the shores of Lake Michigan and is located right in between Chicago and Milwaukee. And because of its location, it's a great weekend destination from either city. Racine was founded almost 200 years ago, and because of that, there's a lot of history here. And Racine has some great attractions that you wouldn't expect to find in a city of that size. And in this video, we'll show you our top five favorite things to do in Racine. And by the way, three of those five attractions are absolutely free. So let's go! And number one on our list is the SC Johnson Wax Headquarters. SC Johnson is the big employer in Racine, and their headquarters was built by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1939. If you follow our channel, you already know we are huge fans of Frank Lloyd Wright. But the Johnson Wax Headquarters is Frank Lloyd Wright on a completely different scale. Frank Lloyd Wright had built a small house on Main Street in Racine, and when CEO Herbert Johnson saw this house and how different it was from the classical houses around it, he decided he wanted Frank Lloyd Wright to build the new headquarters. It is an incredible building and an absolute must-see if you are in Racine. And the best part is that the visit's free. The first highlight of the visit is the great workroom with a ceiling made of glass tubes supported by these columns in the shape of water lilies. Because the columns are wider at the top than at the bottom, Frank Lloyd Wright had a hard time getting its design approved by the state of Wisconsin. But we're glad he did because it really feels like you are underwater swimming in a forest of water lilies. We had a chance to ride in the old elevator and walk through the underground tunnels that connect the various buildings and also visit the old office of Herbert Johnson. When I think of Frank Lloyd Wright, I think of straight lines and rectangular shapes. The fact that this building has so many round shapes is what makes it so unusual. It's like no other Frank Lloyd Wright building we've seen before. And Frank Lloyd Wright also designed the furniture for the building. Including the three-legged chair that ended up not being very stable, and the four-legged version which was a lot more stable. The second part of the visit is the research tower, which was added in 1950. Lots of products that you probably use every day in your kitchen were invented here. The tower stopped being used in the 80s because it no longer meets code. Yes, it does feel a little claustrophobic when you go up and down those tiny stairs. But it was really cool to visit. The third part of the visit is to Fortaleza Hall, which was built in 2010 by architect Norman Foster, who also designed the Apple stores. The building retraces the aircraft expedition that H.F. Johnson Jr. took in 1935 from Racine all the way to Brazil. There's a replica of the Sikorsky plane that Johnson flew in 1935 hanging from the ceiling. And there is also a room with 3D models of buildings that Frank Lloyd Wright built all over the world. We also got to go inside the Rondell Theater. Which from the outside looks like a spaceship that landed in front of the Johnson Wax headquarters. We cannot encourage you enough to do this incredible visit. And number two on our list is the Racine Art Museum. The Ram. The Ram is located right downtown on Main Street. The Ram is a very unique museum. It specializes in what you would call handcraft, like jewelry, pottery, ceramics, glasswork, textiles. You won't find the Mona Lisa or a Picasso collection at the Ram, but if you're interested in more than paintings or sculptures, the Ram has the largest collection of contemporary craft in the US. I wasn't sure what to expect for a museum in a small town like Racine, and I was really impressed by the quality and the variety of the collection. They're not competing head-to-head -head with bigger museums. Instead, they picked a unique theme and ran with it. Some of the pieces were quite intriguing. At first, we thought this baseball glove was just a baseball glove. Same thing with this purse, and we were confused as to why they belonged in a museum. But it turns out that they're sculptures, and it's so realistic that I really thought it was made of leather. The biggest part of the collection is the textiles exhibit, and there's a video that's worth watching because it explains how the process works to combine color and texture to make these beautiful garments. But we also like the jewelry collection. It wasn't so much earrings and necklaces, but more pieces of art that were made to look like jewelry. It was a very interesting concept. And number three on our list is just walking around downtown Racine. Because the city of Racine was incorporated in 1841, there are lots of historic buildings in the city. The Main Street in Racine is called Main Street, and it runs along the shores of Lake Michigan. And the Southside Historic District is on the National Register of Historic Places. 
It includes many Victorian and Queen Anne mansions, and some of them were built as early as the 1840s. But it has mansions from many different styles, and most of them have been very well maintained. And Main Street is where you can find the Frank Lloyd Wright House that inspired Herbert Johnson to contact Wright to build his headquarters. And in the central and northern part of Main Street is where you can find some bigger buildings like the old post office or Memorial Hall. And downtown is also where you can go shopping, with lots of quaint little stores, bars, restaurants, and art galleries. We also like walking along the shores of Lake Michigan with a series of parks along the lake and even a beach. You should also make your way to the other side of the marina, from which you have a great view of the city. And number four on our list is the Racine Zoo. So let's be very clear. If you live in San Diego and you happen to visit Racine, the Racine Zoo will be very disappointing. But if you like zoos in general and you enjoy watching animals, you'll be surprised that a city of Racine size could have such a nice zoo. The Racine Zoo is a smaller zoo and it doesn't have all the variety that you can find at larger zoos. But it still has the main African animals you expect to see, like lions, zebras, and giraffes. And also two black rhinos, which a lot of bigger zoos don't have. The zoo also has a tiger, but unfortunately it was sleeping when we filmed this video. But we had an amazing look at the lions. The two females were sleeping right against the window. That's when you put all your trust in window technology. <laughs> Unfortunately, the windows were kind of dirty with lion spit. Yeah, we have the same problem with our dog and our car windows. They probably don't send the cleaning lady into the lion's den very often. Some of our favorites were the penguins. And also the meerkats. They're so fun to watch. And they also have several different species of monkeys. Which had the same window problems as the lions. And the zoo also has lots of seasonal animations. We happened to be there for Halloween and it was Pumpkin Central over there. And number five on our list is the Charles Worcester Museum. The Worcester Museum is part of the Racine Art Museum, but it's on a separate campus on State Street, the street through which you'll enter the city when you come from the highway. And unlike the main museum downtown, the Worcester Museum is free. Outside, the museum is in an old mansion in the middle of a large park, and there are several outdoor sculptures that we really liked. There were even birds that nested in one of the sculptures. The flowers were all in bloom when we visited, and it was really beautiful. It's very peaceful. And inside, the collection is mostly photographs. We're usually not big photography fans, but there were some really interesting pieces. Yeah, it's not just landscape like sunset people post on Instagram. It's creative work that is photography based. It's a small museum, but well worth the stop. If you enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to watch our other videos, we're going to put one right here and another one right there. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.